Let me show you this Office Images Documents form in Forms Boss Plus. It's on the Management tab of the main menu, and it's actually only available for those who have purchased the management option of Forms Boss Plus. So this video would not apply to anyone who did not already purchase the management option. We'll just double click to open it up. When you open the Office Images Documents section, you can create a new record by clicking this picture uh, here and um, it will give you an opportunity to enter an image or a document or both. You can do that uh, in several different ways. The, the first option here is that you can scan an image. If you click on that button, it will pull up a list of your um, scanners that you have uh, attached to this computer and you can choose which one of those you would like to use to scan with. I'm actually not going to scan one right now. I'm going to show you another way that you can access an image. The second way that you can import an image into the Office Images and Documents is to click on this Add Replace Image from File button. This will allow you to navigate to wherever on your computer you might have an image saved that you would like to work with. So we're going to select an image and click Open. From here we can do lots of different things with this image. We can print it from this button. We can zoom in or zoom out. Um, we can reset the image if we had made changes to it. We can export the image to a file. Let me show you what happens when you click on this button. You'll notice that you can choose to save this image in a number of different formats here. So that would be your option if you wanted to save this image uh, in a different format. You could go to that export image to file feature. You can also get the image info by clicking on this button. That just tells you what type of file it's currently saved as, and it also will tell you um, how large of a file this image is. You can stretch the image to fit the screen by clicking this box here. And you can also make lots of changes to your image with this Edit Image Effects. Let me show you what that entails. You'll see here that there are many, many tabs uh, that will allow you to edit different things about your image here. There are just lots and lots of features um, in this editing um, part of the program. For example, if I clicked on this color tab and clicked grayscale and then click apply, you'll see that it changed my image to a grayscale image. Um, if I wanted to change something else about the image, um, for example, let's see, if we wanted to do a page curl, you could do that. Um, you've got Noiseify options here. Um, just lots of different things that you could change um, about your image if you wanted to. Um, you can preview it with the changes that you've made. Um, you can either close and save or you can close without saving. I'm actually going to choose that option so that I can leave it in its colored format there. Um, but that would be where you could make any changes uh, to the image itself if you would want to. Um, it will automatically put today's date as the date entered uh, when you create a new file. I want to draw your attention to these two sort fields here at the top. This would be the way that you would search for this image if you were trying to find it from a list of images. Um, so you can enter just whatever information you think might be helpful for finding this um, image. and then click save. 
and let me show you what it did with that information. If we were to search for an image or document with this, we could just click here and you'll see that we can search by sort field 1 or by sort, sort field 2 or by the date entered. And uh, we can just type search characters that would pull up um, that image uh, according to the information that we had entered in the sort, sort fields and we would click OK and it would open that image for us. Uh, let me show you a little bit about the document side of this um, Office Images Documents form. If you click on this Document Text tab, you'll see that the document side functions very similarly to any other word processor. So you can type text in uh, just as you would in a word processing program. Um, keep in mind, right now we are actually still in the same um, file, the same record that has this uh, picture of this Chevy in it. Uh, so we can add text and document to that picture. Or if you wanted to create a document that didn't even have a record with it, you would just, I uh, didn't have an image with it, you would just click this uh, new record button and you could create a document. So I can type in uh, text just as you would in a word processor. I can make changes to that text here. Um, if I wanted to change something about uh, the text, I can make all sorts of changes. Um, just as you would in a basic word processing system. Once I've made any changes that I want to in the document side, I would just click Save Changes and it would have um, both the image and the document saved as one single record. Um, and you can create as many images and documents as you might need to with uh, this handy feature of Forms Boss Plus.